Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. And we are living lucky. I hope you are too. Happy Friday. Happy Friday indeed. What is today? Today is Friday the 20th of January. The 20th. Do you still have your New Year's resolution? <laughs> oh, good one, Tate. Uh, <laughs> Tate did you like, just hear that? Tate Tate was like, like, don't <laughs> ask me. <laughs> good morning, Kimberly. Kimberly, do you still have your New Year's resolution? So... Tomorrow's the 21st. Okay. That's exactly three weeks into the new year. Oh, Jason can finally do math. <laughs> His Alabama, Alabama math. college has finally kicked in. And I'm betting just on statistics that most people don't even remember what their new year's resolution was. What was yours? To do one push-up a day for the first week, two push-ups a day for the second week, three push-ups a day for the third week. Now, I changed it Have a little bit. Have you been doing three push-ups? So I changed it a little bit the first week because I got, and the reason I did was because I got <laughs> bored doing one push up. Oh. So what I decided was for the first five weeks, I'm yeah. going to do five push ups a day. Oh, okay. So, you made it harder for yourself. Well, it, it, five push ups to me was if I'm on the ground, I might as well just do five. <laughs> <laughs> because I've already got myself down here. I might as well just make it worth my while. Because doing one is just, if you're getting on the ground, you're going to do one to get up. That's true. <laughs> I think that's called a burpee. That's not a push up. That's a burpee. Well, so I said, I'm just for the first five weeks, I will do you're five, five push ups a day. So wait, does that mean on week 52, you're going to do 52 push ups? Yeah. A day? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, but I should be conditioned to be able to do that. That's my thought. I'm not, I'm not a now. I am not a fitness person. So if there's a fitness person watching, or if you know a fitness person, oh tag them please, so they can let me know if I'm setting myself up for failure. But that's my goal. And if it's a okay. bad goal, I mean that's okay. But I, I don't we'll like I don't like fitness, and I thought that's a good progressive. So like climbing up a We're mountain. We're gonna Tim Ferriss you. Yeah, you do, do you it. Know what up that, a, uh, Tim Ferriss always uses his own body as his his own guinea pig. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So I'll, I'll see if it works and if it doesn't, but I don't like working out. So I, I was like, that I can do. And one thing I know about habits and myself is right. if I just continually do something and build it into my routine, it'll stick or it won't stick. But then if it becomes part of me, and if I like it, I'll keep it later. Mm -hmm. And if I don't like it, I'll drop it and pick up something else. Okay, so Kimberly says, I don't start my resolutions until February. February. See how I said that? <laughs> I've been practicing. My birthday's in February, and it's only taken me 47 years to February. learn how to say it. She says she doesn't start until February. Oh, no, I don't didn't quite say it right that time because I know it takes all of January to get me back into routine after the holidays. <laughs> so that's, that's her routine. And you know what? You don't have to start. You can pick any day to start a resolution. Any day is a brand new opportunity to, or any moment is right. a brand new moment to start being the you that you want to be. And that's, that's kind of the attitude I take. You know, Jason had a friend in college and he would say, clean as you go. Good or no, clean as we go. Good or no, clean as you go, which I, I really it's don't whether understand. whether you like it, whether you want to or not, clean as you go. So it's almost like if you don't like who you are, if you don't like what you are, change it now. Oh, I thought you were so going to say, you don't, you don't like who, who you are, clean as you go. Yeah. So, but, so, but I, I take that philosophy. I'm always cleaning in the house. Now, not that that's my resolution, but I always clean a little bit every single day. And then it feels like at the end of the week, I don't have a lot to do right. because I'm constantly <laughs> doing a little tiny bit every day. And I've taken that philosophy with almost every aspect of my life now. I do just a little tiny bit every single day and then it doesn't seem like such a big task kind of like this tedx speech that i'm doing <laughs> right yeah oh my gosh you guys i have been putting this thing off and putting this thing off and now i mean dress rehearsal was like two months ago 
So you say putting it off, but you think about it constantly. You speak, I do think about it. You speak. Jason every always week. walks in uh-huh. uh, in the bathroom, and I'm always giving the speech in the mirror. <laughs> He's always like, "What are you doing? Talking to myself?" <laughs> yeah. So you're constantly you're speaking all the time. You're speaking about the same thing. The TEDx is just bringing everything into a 15 minute, very con- it has concentrated. To be- it's almost like very um, exact, and I'm not pill. a very exact person. <laughs> yeah, and I'm freaking out about it a little bit. Have you well, noticed? And you're not a um, you're not a scripted person. I'm not scripted. <laughs> I'm not scripted. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> okay. I'm joking. That was supposed to be funny. Ha ha ha! You didn't give me the blink. Which which emoji were you just now? <laughs> My favorite emoji, the one I put on everything. Is which is which one? It's like the, it's just the smiley, the big smiley face. Wait, but you kind of gave the one where he's grinning his teeth. Well, that's just my big smiley face. Are all the emojis male? Yeah. No. Except for the one. With the heart eyes? I think that one's female. Well, I use that one sometimes too, if it's just to ladies. (laughs) I don't know. I'm not the emoji guy. I just, I, I. You're not? Well, you I, give use, emojis I, to I use me emojis. All the time. I use them to everybody all the time because I like them. I love emojis. I, but I'm they the make emoji me feel girl. good. They make me feel good. They make me feel good, and I feel like they they say things better than I can articulate. Maybe I should do my TEDx in emojis. Oh God, <laughs> brand new, uh, brand new TEDx style. <laughs> that might go viral. Now, yeah, you know what? I think I think that is what I should do. Well, maybe we just um, maybe we create a whole new style called Emojax. Emojax. <laughs> yes. For the I'm next generation. The 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 muscle. I think that is such a great idea. I totally like that idea. But so for the clean, good or no clean as you go. So that's my friend Jerry, my yes. best friend in college. Yes. And just like so, every day, if you just take account of yourself, kind of take inventory of. The good habits, the bad habits, what's happening in, in your world, what's working for you, what you do well, add to what's doing what you're doing well, take away what's what's not working for you, what you despise, what doesn't give you goosebumps. We've talked about this many times. It's actually called the Kaizen method. And I believe Toyota is the one Well, it's that... a Japanese philosophy of incremental improvement. And I've done it with not only cleaning, but decluttering. It works really well with decluttering. If you just take one closet or one drawer or one bin, I know for me, like bins of pictures, if you just take one bin (laughs) a week or one bin a month even and declutter it, it'll be surprising how at the end of the year, It's like my closet. I started doing this years ago with my closet, and it feels like I never have to declutter my closet because it's constantly... Refreshing itself. It is. It is constantly refreshing itself. And I'm almost at the point where whenever I buy anything new, I get rid of something, don't I? You do. I do. I do. I have... I, I seriously only have maybe... Five pairs of shoes. Yeah, every time I buy something, Jenna's like, "What are you getting rid of?" And I was like, "I'll find something." And then hope she, she forgets, and then my closet just skips, keeps getting things stuffed in. No, and I, I even read, or just recently, I saw, I saw somewhere. I don't know if I read it or I saw it somewhere, but even with working out. Like if you just do a little bit every single day, even like as you're sitting down, every time you sit down, okay? So think how many times we sit down during the day. I mean, I'm I'm sitting constantly. (laughs) So I, I might be an exception to the rule. But for most people, how many times do you sit? You sit a lot, right? You sit and stand. Okay, well, what if every time you go to sit down, you just do it really slowly? Mm hmm you you don't have to go to the gym that day. If every time you sit down and stand up, you just take five seconds to stand up instead of just hopping up 
if you just take five seconds to do it, so you're actually doing a intentional movement. You're doing a slow squat, slow squat, slow, and and you're you're actually. There's my 45 squats for today. There you go, and and it's just like oh my gosh, if you do a little bit every single day, wow, it's amazing of just what a we quick can pop accomplish. Up. What? what? Boom. Boom. Nailed right? it. Yeah. <laughs> and who, forget these New Year's resolutions. That That's for the, yeah. that's for the old timers. So is there that's, anyone, that's old school. Is there anyone out there that's willing to say that they had a New Year's resolution? Mine was very simple. Um, that you had a New Year's resolution that you, you wanted to do or you thought of. Because what I found is some people set their new year's resolutions that someone else actually set for them <laughs> like a oh. sale, sale so for sales you mean goals because they thought they that it was well so sometimes someone says we're gonna like they have a I sister feel like... or a mom that says we're gonna lose weight this year we're gonna lose 10 pounds <laughs> it feels like that's everybody's new yeah. year's resolution and you're like i don't want to lose weight i hate the thought of losing weight i hate diets like I, maybe you i want to be healthier well, you know what that's marketing though that is, marketing. that is marketing, and and you know who sells that? It's the is it, everyone, <laughs> everyone in on TV and magazines in society. Yeah, because <laughs> it's the clothing people. It's the the people who are doing the who want you to buy gym memberships. It's the people who but, want you to buy healthy food. It's the people who. But the thing is that we do feel better when we think that we look better. And then we do, better. but it's all about that thought process. So if you are happy with the way you look, if you feel great about yourself and I feel great about myself when I look better, but I don't allow, like we don't allow the marketing to really influence, influence that. That, that needs that. to come from within. But we've also cut out a lot of the marketing. That needs to come from within. We yeah. can't allow outside forces and to make those decisions from, for us. Those decisions need to be... And that comes from meditation, reading, and, and c like replacing some of the outside influence and replacing that with the inside influence of the reading, like the self-help, self-development books, those things like that, instead of uh, the TV. Okay. One last thing, because we're, we're, we're going long. But if you're making decisions to please other people or to please the external world, they'll never last. They have to be decisions that literally come from your soul yeah. all right yay and and that being said i'm gonna work on my tedx speech because that comes from with it yep you've got a long meeting today thanks for reminding me ah, i love you guys have a wonderful us. weekend keep living lucky bye if the idea of living lucky appeals to you visit us at startlivinglucky.com